Hey guys, I'm 88 here, and welcome back to the Super Mario RPG Restricted Weapon No Death Run. And we are at Seaside Town, and for some reason, I'm hearing hear some weapons, even though things look okay with this place. <sighs> Melting me, I, I swear I'm tired because I swear every every year likes to start up for me. So <sighs> I already need some rest. Uh, hi there, why are you on the counter? In this game, for free. Thanks. Okay. <sighs> what the? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, okay. Why was the innkeeper on the on the table watching us while we were sleeping? <laughs> Uh, buddy, you want to explain what was going on there? Oh, pass. Okay. Yeah, uh... Yeah, what was that about? I mean, at least we don't have to worry about any ill gameplay effects or anything like that. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, what's up with that? Let's look elsewhere. And we have this building owned by two toad guys. And you may not enter this restricted area. Oh, okay. There's nothing of interest here. Don't bother at the inside. And unlike the BS NES person, we can't even slip in between two guys. And so in the SNES version, if we did that, we'd find out that the door is locked anyway, so no subverting the guy. But if we start looking through these windows, hey! Someone's in there! Yeah, what's going on? There isn't too much to this area aside from the scenery, which at least is worth added in the previous curse. Thank you. Yeah, we are seeing plenty of scenery having been added in the remaster. Just to make of this an actually pleasant sight. So let's go in here and see what we can do with the items. These guys are running into Cut them. Cut them. Okay. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Just tell me who would supply. I know. You want to buy or sell? <laughs> and yeah, there's actually flavor next to it. Mm -hmm. With a mm, shopkeeper's mm, dialogue. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you are just moving back and forth. What's up with this? What is that? Mm. I will tell this for the color. That would be too difficult. You do. But it's a... Sorry, one second. And yeah, we can sell a goodie back for 555 points. We can... It's more people prefer to do. It's a pack full of points. Not to carry one. I'm not going to do that. I'm just selling the protocol because we can get more protocols later. We can always get more protocols. What I'm interested in buying is the proper cookies. Or actually, three proper cookies. For 270 points, that's something called. Muku, 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 Muku. Mandy can carry 10. That would be 200. But, in fact, how many can we buy? That would be 270. You still want to buy. You want to buy anything else? Well, we can buy poison mushrooms for 30 points per pop and Poison is an enemy. I'm not even carry 10. I should note that there's a later enemy who drops poison mushrooms at 5% chance, and then another enemy right, who you could get poison mushrooms from by using Yoshi cookies on them. Full group, I believe. And this guy also sells Sprite Bombs, Fire Bombs, and Night Bombs, which we can get at Mole Field. 
and we'd be able to farm them later anyway.
and we can trade for either two items. The Sia, which is allows for, for running for battles, using this will not consume it, and earlier times, which can be used to start a battle over. Using this will again not consume it. They're both infinite use, and the game's not kidding about that. I'm actually going to buy the Sia and never have to worry about the 40% chance of failure to run away. That would be 10 tries for the Sia in the chase? Yes. And I am very sure. We no longer have to worry about a 40% chance of failure to run away, or 30% chance that it will be on freezy. Mm. Because, seriously, the Sia is making us. <laughs> seriously, difficulty is making us appreciate the Sia better. What we want to get is a piece of equipment. We can get the experience booster, which doubles experience and equipment. The coin trick, which doubles the coins we win in battle. Or the flower ring, which cuts empty use of the during battle. I, mean, I have heard reports about mm, the display with the flower ring being bugged, or the scourge ring as it was originally called. Anyway, I'm actually going to buy the coin trick <laughs> for 36 frog coins. Because things are no longer. Mm, because there's a lot fewer problems going on that otherwise would have forced the experience booster usage, but yeah, now I can go ahead and get the, get the coin trick and equip it on Mario, who's the only one who can equip it for whatever reason. I, I know we have fun. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, we can't map up to the sea. It is open, though. It, wait. The sea? Don't tell me. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with a water level! Ah! Actually, this won't be too bad at all. This, this area is going to be solid. Moving on. Oh, and it, it doesn't wall shenanigans thanks to that sign, which, to be fair, I think was happening in the SNES version as well. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> anyway, we have a song on here. And it was, and people came around to you. With a by your tail. Thank you, that by again. He said that if you don't buy anything from him. But, we do want to buy something from him. So, here's what, here's, this guy sells supplies, and he actually sells party cleanses, which, party is refreshed during battle, amount you can carry 10. 50 coins is still overpriced, but it's far more forgivable because, because you can more easily get proc coins to get the coin trick, and uh, the experience booster is not as necessary so you can afford to spend frog coins on the pro on the coin trick, and perhaps most importantly, things are, the item system is significantly less asinine, so you don't need peach as much, and the party clubs can still be useful at times. I mean, granted, it still has some, it's still a questionable use, but at least you can consider the party cleanses in this in the Switch version. I'm not getting anything, we're unfortunately still short on cash, pretty much. This guy also sells new armor. I'm not getting any of the new armor yet, because, again, we're still short on cash. I would be getting all of it, except... Although, I wouldn't be equipping the Sailor Gene. I wouldn't even be equipping anything new on Gino, because... Because of the, the armor rule I have for Gino. Uh, I will get what, mm, the new weapon that this guy provides. The early glove. A classic Mario Toss attack. And it actually boosts Bowser's physical attack by 20 points from his base. Or whatever he has after his armor and uh, accessories. And yeah, 92 coins. But it'll be worth every coin. You would take equipment here. Yes! 
These are weapons that are sold at Mary Moore, so yeah. They're not new. Anyway. Since you just here, I'll tell you this. The ship sank into the briny sea because of mm, the giant squid to attack it. Some people went in with the raid, but they never came back. Ah, good to know. <clears throat> Moving on. Right. I want to showcase my people's equipment. And stats and everything. Because we're going to fight these things directly. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we got a, two Zeal Stars and a Blooper. The Zeal Stars originally counter attack and recover, but... <laughs> they don't do that anymore. The recover... Their current usage of recover is now a regular turn. It, it's kind of odd because Zeal Stars also lack DFP. Can even make use of it, and uh, I mean, I imagine that the um, counter attack and recover usage was involving the Zeal Star is out of FT methods, but uh, that's significantly faster here in the Switch version, so yeah, I don't know why it's as necessary. Woo! I don't know why Recover isn't still a counter attack. Having it be a regular, a potential regular turn action instead just makes Steel Stars easier. Of course, Bowser's still one shotting the Steel Star anyway. Oh, and yeah, Blooper. You might notice that I'm not attacking him yet. Because Blooper mm, will actually run away as soon as we hit him. Or at least with a physical attack. With a magic attack, he will not even respond. I believe it's weak fire. Let me check. Yeah, fire and bolt. And on the Ink In good big make dishes and yeah. Blooper or Bloober as he was originally called. In the Oh, hi there. Yeah. Blooper's and Blooper's regular attack it can be a little touchy to block and block with sweet while climbing. Oh, right, because the blooper is still a special enemy. Another day. 
again, I don't know why Zeostar is using recover as a regular turn instead of a counter attack. Like it's a physical attack. That's needlessly making him easier, I swear. Yeah, yeah, block, um, yeah, the block timing is during the pause for the box attack. Oh, are you giving, going to give me the end encounter? No, of course not. And you're a special enemy! That's why you're attacking. Yay, because the physical, physical defense. Oh wow, you hit hard. I mean, what do I expect? These are any enemy at this point. Any special bearing an enemy at this point is basically getting plus 50% on their physical attack. So they're actually punching through Bowser's physical defense buff. So, to be fair, Bowser's physical defense buff is new in the rematch or anyway, so, yeah. You know, the other thoughts if you don't cooperate with it, it's giving you the. <laughs> giving me that enemy type I'm gonna showcase again. I can just beat up your special there. I'm pretty much in concern about you. For goodness sake. Yeah, Zeal Star's HP is happy as time. Yeah, Zeo Star is taking punishment like a champ. Oh, you're almost down. Goodbye! Fire Plant. Oh wow! Good boy Mario, thank you! Yeah, I'm actually taking this thing because Bowser's Rally Gloss has a special variant for when Mario is afflicted with a debuff. Ah. Yeah, it, it, Bowser whips out a doll instead when Mario is afflicted with a with an ailment or is knocked down because Bowser is a case of even evil at dinner. And I feel more comfortable with a doll. Oh, and here we go. The Lego is... Apparently that's how you pronounce his name. Not Lego as I have originally thought. We got the Anthony Young version and no pronunciation guide. You might notice that I'm not using Sun in purple right away, even though the... Uh, Oh, 
I'm gonna come young doctor. And that missed. Wow. Okay. Stop PQ. There we go. Meet the fire. He's actually in the cold. It can't, it can't keep shifting forever. Okay, Hawkbus, what do you mean to find at the point we didn't Well, Oh, you were pointing at it. Dang it. Ah! I don't have lost my intention to be in there, but... Okay, now, if you're wondering why I didn't use Thunderbolt on these guys, well, besides the point that Lutos are immune, well, there we go. Solidify. Who can counterattacks with solidify? I believe the total magic attack is in the 60s or 70s, but let me check real quick. Ah, and as I check, I forget to. I know I have documented where I can access it easily. So, where was it? Sorry, I should have handled this right away, but not like this, this is a big part anyway. So. Alright, here we go. 89! 89 total magic attack. That would be devastating at this point. Or even. Even with the terrorite, it's still dealing with heavy damage. And I should note that Lugo actually has a 30% magic evade in the original. But so the solidified counter is actually buffed here. But in the first place, there was already a 40% chance of hitting both Lugo. With the with the terrorize that they're about to That's not negligible, so So it's not something I would count on at all. Right now, right now, this is great. 90. It's either 60 or 70. 70. Either 60 or 70. Anyway, there we go. Oh, and yeah, Lucas, as I mentioned, army of the Thunderbolt, and the Thunderbolt would still set off the set off the counterattack, and so yeah, yeah, you'd be in for nasty surprise if you tried the Thunderbolt with two Lucas out on the field. Yeah. So yeah, now that I showed the Lucas, let's take out these Neo Stars. Of course, no special variants, so that's a thing. Enemies in the in the sea region do not respawn at all. 
However, you will be able to fight any of the five enemy types you can find in the sea region later on. And they will reach the pond where you can fight them later on as well. Uh, you, you won't miss the bit that you Oh, and our introduction to Rules. Or underwater, the music is muffled. So. They get ambient. <laughs> yeah, the fourth ball will not protect you. <laughs> and we get a max mushroom after that little, little bit of a tutorial. Gotta be weak in magic, or at least vulnerable to magic. We got a uh, boy. Uh, uh, anyway, since physical defense is later on the display order, Crust, a special fairy in Krusty would actually get the 50% bonus to physical defense rather than physical attack. He's the only other. He's the only enemy in this region other than the Pulsar. To, to get a bonus, get the 50% bonus for a standard that are the physical attack. And, yeah. Ah. Uh, but of course, I didn't run into him, so. Yeah. All he does is a physical attack, which is a bit of breath, so you want to be ready for it. He is very slow, naturally. He's last on the turn order, but most likely. Or 
later in the turn order, I mean, right? And, uh, what was it? Crafty can also potentially put people either under mute or I, I want to say it was mute that he put people under. Yeah, yeah I could be sure it would be the mute people that he might put under. But what the heck? Uh, anyway. We don't see Crafty, so yeah, we may as well proceed. next part. But for now, I'm actually going to map warp back to Seaside Town to showcase one dialogue change. And upon reaching the sunken ship. Uh, okay. Elders, uh, Mr. Quote unquote Elders, uh, dialogue was supposed to change. Apparently, it didn't when we. Hmm. This should do it though. Ah, uh, okay! I can swear that the Elder. Tell us when we reach the sunken ship that we're almost there. We shouldn't give up. Yeah, I, I'm confused. 